Can you hear me okay? Nice. So today we are reviving the action uh, cam. I finally, hey Gustavo, thanks for joining. Hey Red Hawk. So I, we were finally back with having those two uh, cameras. So we have the top camera and now we, we have the action camera back. So I think that's pretty nice. Um, I was waiting for some cables to be able to hook it up again. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get this started. So two things we're gonna do uh, today. I'm gonna build this Zeland uh, PCB that I got. And after that, I'm gonna unbox and desolder a minivan. So let me change keyboards here real quick. So I can use a wireless board to talk to you guys. All right, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's start by building this guy. So we're gonna do uh, the Zeland with Revo Whites that I've been um, lubing this afternoon. And I 3D printed this case yesterday. I actually printed two, but this color was super dull. This is like a copper case. So I decided to go with this blue. It looks better than the other one. So how are you guys? What are you guys up to? And how do you guys like the this action camera here? Is it is it good? I like the fact that this camera can do like a better zoom job than the other one while we still have the top view. And this is the Canon 80D. <laughs> Nothing like usual. Yeah, I feel you. That's the exact reason why I wanted to stream because I was doing nothing. And then I started lubing some switches and decided to build it. <laughs> I wanted to play with this board. All right, so this should be very, very simple. Uh, there's no secret. It's just a FR4 plate that we're gonna use on top of this. Uh, let me go ahead and start. Oh, by the way, the, the only thing different here is that we have, um, for this PCB, I had to clip one of the pins um, on the right side and one on the left because the guy that made the PCB, he put the controller where uh, some of the switch switches are. So there is no right PCB mount hole here and no left PCB mount hole here. Yeah, I love the ADD. It's my one of my favorite cameras. I think the, the quality of the image is better than the GX85. And then here's the controller. That's the reason why we have this odd one leg switch for those places. So that's why I also set them aside here. Yeah, I think the, the quality of the image is really superior. So let's put uh, some switches on the corners and then we'll take it from there. Oh, let me just... Uh... Oh, and now my, board, my keyboard is not working. Give me one second. Okay. Now it's working again. Oops. And then uh, I bought this very cheap uh, PCB from Mac Market. Uh, it's a minivan PCB. I bought it for 20 bucks. And I think it comes with shitty switches. So I'm gonna desolder it because I wanna build a case that I bought a long, long time ago. This is a wooden case that I got um, so I want to put it this minivan here. 
eventually. We're going to put it there just to test it with the current switches. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if they have like box switches or something crappy like that. Hey, Kibi Warriors, how are you? Thanks for joining. So I'm here building this Zealand that I ordered from the last GB and I printed, 3D printed a case, a very simple case that we're gonna use to hold this PCB. Slant. Got it. Hey, Visionaire. Thanks for joining. How's it going? And I think I did it wrong because I used the switches that I was not supposed to use somewhere here. So let me check. Zlent. Uh, let's see where I put the wrong switch. Here. So this guy shouldn't be here. <laughs> How dare you, Red Hawk. Those are Revo Whites. I, my tangerines are not here yet. I'm waiting for them, I think next week. And many of the things that I ordered, uh, I'm going to US on the 20th, so they're gonna arrive and I'm not gonna be here to receive them. The one that I've been wanting the most is that uh, BLE, BLE 40 that I bought. All right, so I think it's enough. Let's start soldering, making sure that the switches are flush. <laughs> Bad bot. Yeah, I hate this bot. I always say that I'm going to disable it, but I always forget. But I think uh, Red Hawk is already acquainted with it, so it's not an issue anymore. Let me reposition this camera. I think it's not really good. Sorry for the shaking. Let's see if that improves now.
Yeah, perfectly flush. Let's do the other side now. You tried to get to my streams, Kibi Warriors? That's nice. Thank you. So, yeah, Slant is a 40%. I think it has 52 keys. Uh, it's almost, it's almost, no, it's a plank, but it's staggered. So, I'm quite sure that Red Hawk, appro had Rock, Red Hawk approves it. Since it's still considered a plank. Yeah, plank above everything, for sure. Hey, Manj, thanks for joining. Staggered Hawk. So let's, let's actually solder this because the switches are completely flush, so no issues there. What is your mod? Hey Rope, thanks for joining man. Welcome. Also excited, excited uh, GMK Bur Burgundy R2 should ship next week. Yeah, that's a nice set. I wish I had joined, but I didn't. So that was fast, right? The shipping. I feel like it's been, what, a couple of months? How long did it take to ship Burgundy? Oh, yeah, man, Jen, I forgot to, to test it. Sorry. The fuck when you left out the joke. Um, can you Alps this or something? Yes, I think you can. I think there is Alps support. Right? So GMK was producing the base kit before invoicing because they planned to do no matter the MOQ. Okay. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I thought that was super fast. Faster than usual. I am just pushing a uh, switch in that is not completely flush. I'm trying to push it, that is. It looks good now. Someone contact me on Discord. Nah.
Hey Sint, yes, what's up? We're building a slant or slant. Uh, yeah, the problem is that I don't have my sorbothane easier to get. It's a uh, it's on a, a uh, drawer on my living room and I need to look for it. That's the only reason it's not easy to do it now. Otherwise I would. And I was looking for it today earlier and I, I didn't find it. I need to ask my wife where it is. That's the reason I didn't test the other day. Yeah, man's the one to tell. It's a mod that he came up with, a switch mod that involves sort of thing, as you heard. Hey, TTY, thank you so much for joining. Fr Friday relax stream. Uh, let's see. Um, let me see. read show foam into the switch hole of so show foam into the switch holes instead of solder. Yikes. Finally caught one. Yes, TTY. Sound like something I would come up with. <laughs> Chillest of times. Um, it's already Saturday there. Really? Teach me how to build a Dougie. What is the Dougie? I have uh, three Xylons, uh, two and one PCB, but those are PCB kits. Um, and the, the reason is I bought uh, the original one and it has a couple of defects. It was like a beta test. So I bought another one and the guy sent me uh, an extra. So I have three now. And I printed, 3D printed the case and um, yeah, so three. But uh, this is gonna be the second one that I have that is built. The other one is still unbuilt. I think I got the very first PCB that went out. It was even like a prototype. I remember that uh, this part here had um, this FR4 part, it was bigger 
and it didn't fit the case that the guy sent me, so I had to file it. It was interesting. Okay, so I think all the switches are in, so let's push the rest in. I just replied to a friend of mine. Um, what what t-shirt are we talking about? I'm out of the loop. Oh, so you did, you, you were able to get Susu Atari sinned? I'm glad. Did you figure out what the problem was? Did they give you a reason or did you, did you just try it again and it went through? Oh, nice, nice. K K Kennel Club. Canoe Club. Really? I need to catch that. And I also need a canoe. I almost bought a can can canoe a lot of times. Yeah, I know. The reason I didn't get it was because of all the PCB failures that were was going on. But I did buy the Feno. Fenu. The ch Chinese version that I got. But I, I'm not sure they are, are ev e e they are ever going to ship that. Oh, no, no, not creams. Those are Revo Whites. I wish they were creams. <laughs> Just double check the position of these keycaps here. Sixty percent of the time, the PCB works all the time. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a very good one.
PCB probably works, yeah. So many different people having issues with the PCB. Oh my God. Oh, jet fire. I, I want a jet fire. Is that is that jet fire yours, Dad? Did you enter a GB or what? What's the story with the jet fire? Let's see. Um, oh, by Nathan's jet fire. I see. I, I how much? I I'm very interested in one as well. Wow, that that's a great price, five five eighty. I would pay that on a jet fire. Yeah, not bad at all. So only one PCB and plate should be right. <laughs> Too bad I didn't have an extra diffuser, yes. And you know what's funny? Uh, my COD 67 came with an extra diffuser. I think that's the, the diffuser I snapped. It was the COD 67, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I built it together with Arctic Fox here when we had the meetup. And his uh, didn't come with an extra diffuser. So mine was very random. Oh, or Orion 2? Nice. Yeah, I think I, nobody, I, I think I was the only one who got an extra diffuser. I didn't hear anyone else with an extra diffuser. Which I was thankful for because as I said, I snapped mine.
Really? Jet fire is lower than that? That's interesting. Did you guys see, especially you Red Hawk, the, the FC 660 yesterday for 200? I offered 180 for that. And the guy didn't want to, to close uh, for 180. My favorite switch is still um, Vintage Blacks. I did. Did you offer something, Red Hawk? No, 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 I offered a 180. Since there's a long wait um, for, for, the, for the case, I wanna, I wanna buy at the, a reasonable price. I wanna pay 180. So I decided that if the guy wouldn't do it for 180, I wouldn't buy it. I can't I can still wait, right? Not like I need that board right now. Yeah, the Sony BK, BK, BKEs, they, they are like impossible to find now. I would like another one to put on uh, either my, my Nova Touch or on the one of the Norbauer cases. I, I would love to get more domes for that. Oh, there's a that there, there's invoice GB. Uh -huh. Is that for the white jet fire? I, I remember there was something like a white or something like that. Wow! So you paid five? Yeah, that's a, an, an insane deal then. And I think we're almost done with the soldering here. So before um, assembling the case, I want to see if I can flash my layout. So because I may need the reset button to do that. Okay, I think this part is done. You just see uh, what it takes to flesh it. Just see if I have everything in place here. Yep. Oh, good. Let me move on to this. Where 
did my cable go? Weird. Hey Weeks, what's up man? Thanks for joining. This one didn't do anything, but I think those are functions, so we should be good. Let me see if I can flash it. Josh, Josh, yeah, I almost went Josh, but I decided not to. <laughs> Let me... Do this. Oh my God, look at my face. What the fuck? Realize there's a huge thing here. What is this? Oh, this cable here. And every time I restart OBS now, it's this issue. <laughs> Such a perv. Okay, so let's see. Is Lent, Mr. Keebs, Keymap. Let's see if that's enough. I haven't split uh, the links yet, uh, weeks. I got home like uh, 30 minutes ago. Okay, seems like we're flashed. And I think the camera is lagging, so let me go back to... Are we back? Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Let's see if... Uh, what, what I have now. Yep, my layout is flashed. So we can assemble the case. Let me set this aside. Here. So we're gonna use this 3D printed case that I put together and that I printed yesterday. And it's uh, kind of tricky to put it correctly in. There we go. Now we're gonna do those screws. Oh, that program was uh, VS Code and I was flashing my layout using QMK. TTY.
That's a great idea. I never thought about. What is QMK? Uh, the sound of, you know what? I really like plastic cases in general, and this is no exception. You're going to see that it sounds really good. Or at least I hope. Last time I tried it, it did sound really good. Oh yeah, I use VS, uh, VS Code for everything. It's not VS uh, Visual Studio, it's Visual Studio Code, but I think you know that. So let me get some bump ons. And I'm only gonna put them on the top here because I want to have a, an angle on the case. The case doesn't have any angle, so at least we add a little bit of angle if we do it like this. All right, so let's add the caps and try a small um, typing test. Yeah, and I really wanna try BKA heavies. I have them here. I just need to stop being lazy and replace it on my one of my Topri boards. Let me see. I don't know if I remember my layout completely. Beefcake fingers. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> to produce what? Produce BK, BKA on my 3D printer? BKE? Let me look up. Uh, I have a picture of how this set should look like. Um, not this one, this one, so it's function control, they'll enter shift. Oops. Yeah, I think. Even the, the 45, is the 45 which one? The lights? I, I like the lights if it is. Yeah, lights, uh-huh. I have them on my white HHKB and they're, they're really good. Don't see a codo here. Heavies are 55. I think heavies are not 55. I think they're like 60. No? 60 or something. Yes, Revo Y tweaks. And I did the same loop that I mentioned for the, the other. So 102 and, uh, sorry, 104 and 204. Oh, got it. Got it. So you, you, Red Hawk, I got you. 
And I still want to try 55 grams. I only have um, 55 on, on my plum, and it's one of those terrible um, domes, like the ones that come with other, um, other plums. You're removing the houses right now? Sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. Let's do a quick typing test. Come on, wire, help me out here. Proto X sounds great for a 3D printed case. Yes, and I I have that filament, I told you, right? I just need to figure out how to properly print with the filament. I need to do some experimentation, but I never got to do it. I, everything that I printed so far is PLA SIND. I played with uh, PETG a little bit with some PLA with wood as well, but that, that was it. But I do have the carbon fiber, the same one that Proto X is made out of. So let's see. Having a hard time typing. You need to get used to it. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good, to be honest. Kind of muffled, I don't know.
anyways um, so this part is done uh, any questions about this before we go move on to the mini event I'll leave this aside so if you guys have any questions or anything just let me know put it 